Hi guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to share with you all of the products that I've been purchasing at the drugstore. I think this bag has been on my table for almost two weeks. Over two weeks, I want to say, because I remember when I was like last vlogging, I was like, you know what, I want to do a haul because I have so many products, and that vlog was like a week ago. Actually, my camera broke on Thursday. Oh my god, I know, I have so much to tell you guys. My camera broke on Thursday, so I haven't been able to vlog. I actually vlogged that day, so I do have the clips. So I'm going to edit that tonight after I get back from a basketball game. We're going to our first, well, my first um, basketball game at Madison Square Garden, so I'm really excited. But, oh my god, I'm going off topic. I'm just going to jump right in and share with you guys a lot of the products that I've been purchasing and trying out. So this is going to be like a haul slash first impression. I have a lot of things to show you guys, and I don't want this video to be like the longest video ever so let's just dig right in Ooh, i'm so excited so the first thing that i got was actually this duo hair towel shower cap sort of situation and actually the shower cap is missing because i've been using it and i actually really like it if you guys know i mean a lot of you guys know that i have really curly hair so whenever my hair touches water it's just like poof curly right away so this has been helping and I also got this Garnier skin active actively hydrating daily lotion and it says it's for all skin types even sensitive and this is what it looks like right here I basically just got it because it has SPF and it's also oil free and Garnier has been doing such an amazing job with their products recently so I saw a display with this in it and I was like you know what I should give it a try and I actually have been trying out trying this product for I want to say almost two weeks and I really like it the only thing is that I feel like it's a little heavy for my skin my moisturizer that I currently use that I actually got from my dermatologist it's so lightweight that when you put it on your skin like you don't even feel it there so that's something that I do like about my original moisturizer this one I do like because it has a high SPF it's really important for you to have SPF in your moisturizer or just to apply it on your face overall on a daily basis just because it does help with removing scars from your face and also protects your skin from the Sun so that's something that I do look for whenever I'm purchasing a moisturizer I do really like it I just feel like I can only wear this on the days where I'm not wearing a ton of makeup and like I said it has SPF so it's really important for me to have that in my moisturizer on a daily basis and then by Garnier as well, I also got this right here. It says it reduces the look of years of sun damage, brightens your skin, it has vitamin C, and it's also oil free. So I was like instantly, I was like, yes, I need this in my life because even though I don't have any more acne on my face, I still have a little bit of scars going on on the outer parts of my face like over here or even over here so i've been looking for something to help my skin although i feel like my moisturizer has been helping a lot with my dark spot in my face i want something that's going to target the dark spot specifically so i've been using this and honestly i haven't seen a drastic change and i think you know maybe it does take a little while for it to work but i'm definitely going to keep you guys updated on this and i do really like this one because it's really lightweight, so when you put it on your skin, it feels really nice and cool. Like it has a really, it has a cool sensation when you put it on your skin. So that's something that I do like about this one. So what I do on the days where I'm not wearing a ton of makeup is I'll apply this on my face, and then I'll go on and apply the moisturizer. And that's specifically how they said you should use this. You should use the dark spot corrector first, and then apply your moisturizer, and then apply a little bit of makeup or whatever it is you're applying on your face if you're not applying makeup then you don't have to worry about that step but yes I've been really enjoying this one right here and then moving on to something else I'm just gonna mention this because I just saw it in the back I really like this razor mainly because of the little soap that has around it so it makes it really easy for you to shave your legs your underarms I mean I use shaving cream but I just feel like sometimes when I'm in a rush I don't so I'll just go on with this one and it just makes it really easy for me to shave I know you're supposed to use shaving cream or shaving lotion or whatever it is on a daily basis whenever you shave um, especially to avoid razor bumps so I have been using a uh, shaving lotion which I absolutely love actually I got it when I went to LA and I'm gonna show it to you guys in my monthly favorites because I'm almost out of it so before I finish it I do want to show it to you guys okay so now we're gonna move on to makeup because I've been showing a lot of skincare stuff um, the first thing that I got and I was so excited to buy this actually I went to three different dr drugstores to find this and this is a Maybelline Master Contour Face Kit and I bought both colors because 
Well, I have a reason why I bought both colors. I saw this one, which is the medium, well, I'm going to start with the light to medium. And I was like, this color would be perfect to just contour my face. Not really to bronze up my skin, but mainly to contour because it has a really nice cool tone of bronzer. The blush is also very pretty. It's a matte, sort of like baby pink blush. And then the highlight is also really pretty. It's a shimmery, icy highlight doesn't really have as much shimmer as I would like it to have, but it's also really pretty. And then this one was the one that I ended up liking the most, and this is a medium to deep. There's a lot of reasons why I like why I like this one the most, and I'm going to show you guys white right now. Like this bronzer right here is absolutely stunning. It is so gorgeous. When I put it on my skin, it blends so easily and it just adds a really nice, natural, glowy look to my skin and that's something that I love about this bronzer. The blush is absolutely stunning as well. It's a beautiful peachy blush with a hint of like little golden shimmer in it. You can barely see the gold but when you put it on your skin you can see it right away. And then the highlight is actually my favorite part about this palette. Okay, so talking about contouring and highlighting, this I was so excited to see, like I was really excited and there was only one and that's why I bought only one and this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette and oh my god, I'm actually wearing this on my face today and I want to do a close up so you guys can see it. It looks so good, like the quality of this powder is amazing, like you need to go buy this like yesterday. This contour shade right here is beautiful and it blends so easily on the skin and then this setting powder right here it's a neutral vanilla shade it is so pretty it just highlights my face it sets my under eye concealer and I just really love the contour shade so out of all the products that I bought at the drugstore I think this is my number one favorite thing just because I was so surprised with the quality of these powders and they just go on so nicely on my skin and I think it was only like five dollars so if you see this at your drugstore, definitely pick it up. I'm not sure if they have darker or lighter shades, but this one I think will be perfect for light, medium, and tan skin tones. And then by Wet n Wild, I also got the Illuminating Palette. Shades are actually really pretty, but when you put it on, it just looks too... I feel like it looks too powdery, and this is what it looks like. I'll just lower this. <sighs> Okay, yeah, that's much better. Okay, so let me just show you guys right here. So it's this one right here. Um, it's a beautiful highlight. I just feel like it goes on a little too powdery on my skin. By Wet n Wild, I also got their Color Icon blushes. And these are basically the same blushes that they had before. They just have a new formula, and this is what they look like right here. I only saw three on the display. I'm not sure if there's any more colors. But these three were absolutely stunning when I saw them. I was like, I need to have them. I used to be obsessed with Mellow Wine. Actually, when I first started wearing makeup, Mellow Wine was actually one of my favorite blushes. And I really love the new formula. It is so pigmented. Actually, which one am I wearing right now? And I'm actually wearing Mellow Wine right now. This is what it looks like right here. It's so pigmented and so creamy and I'm actually wearing it on my face today and I just absolutely love it. Like I said, Mellow Wine was actually one of my favorite blushes when I started wearing makeup. So I was really excited that they came out with a new formula. And then the next thing that I got was this Maybelline Dream Blender Foundation Sponge. And this is what it looks like right here. I actually bought two of them and I have already tried this one right here. Okay, so I do really like this sponge, but not to apply your foundation because I feel like it's a little too stiff for you to really get into your skin and for the foundation to look really good on your face. So basically what I use this little sponge for is for my concealer because it is so perfect to really get into the inner corners of your eyes. You know that really hard spot right here in between like your nose and your eyelashes where you just have a little bit of concealer but you don't want to put your finger because you're going to mess up your eyeshadow. This right here is perfect for that. Like you can just apply it right in there and it'll get the concealer. So I do really like it. It's a CoverGirl True Blend 
face primer and I got the one for oily skin and I got the one for dry skin and I've been using both of them and let me just tell you guys I absolutely love it they're really different they have the same formula but they're both very different okay so I'm gonna start off with the oily skin one the oily skin one is really nice obviously if you have oily skin because it's gonna keep your face matte like it has a really strong SPF scent but when you put it on your face it does take a little while for it to sink into your skin but I do like the formula. I like how it went under my foundation and I definitely recommend this primer. And then the one for dry skin, I absolutely love as well. And I use it mostly on the outer parts of my face, which is mainly where I get dry. And I also really like this because it's really lightweight and then when you put it on your skin, it has a really nice cool sensation to your skin. So I do really like this one. I like both of them and I'm super happy that I picked both of them up. And you can do like, you know how they have multi-masking? You can do multi-priming as well. And now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like multi-priming should be a thing, especially for people who have like problematic skin or even like combination skin. This is gonna be super helpful to you. Actually, I wanna do a video on multi-priming. That would be a really good video. And then the next thing that I got was by L'Oreal and this is the brow stylist definer pencil eyebrow pencil and I saw this and I was like oh my god I'm so excited because you guys know that eyebrow pencils are my thing I love eyebrow pencils and so far NYX is the only one that has an eyebrow pencil at the drugstore that I absolutely love so I got this one in dark brunette and this is what it looks like right here I haven't tried it out but I'm really excited because like I said eyebrow pencils are my thing and if I end up finding one at the drugstore that I absolutely love then you guys know that I will be talking about it all the time and then moving on to something else that I got at the drugstore this is by Milani cosmetics and this is their eyeshadow palette and when I saw this one I fell in love with it right away actually my video what video was it my I filmed a video recently wait I know what video it was I just have to find it I just have to go get some water because mm. I was getting so thirsty but I found the picture that I was actually wearing this eyeshadow in and so many people commented that they wanted a tutorial so you know that tutorial is coming but I used it in this picture and I absolutely love Milani eyeshadows actually I have all their single eyeshadows here and they are so freaking amazing they're probably one of the best drugstore eyeshadows that I currently own and when I saw this palette where did I put it? Oh, right here. Um, I fell in love with it. You basically have all these perfect eyeshadow colors that are great for an everyday basis. And that's something that I loved about this palette. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be perfect to just throw in my purse or if I'm going out and I just really want a natural look. I feel like this will be a great palette for that. So when I saw it, I was like, yes, drugstore palettes are coming out with great eyeshadow combinations. So really love the quality of those eyeshadows and the palette overall I just really like it and then I also got another palette by CoverGirl and this one I haven't tried at all but it says shades like the leading $50 eyeshadow palettes and this is a nude version I haven't even opened it yet so let's open it, it comes with this little brush thingy which I don't like and this is also another great nude palette which you can use on an everyday basis I haven't tried these eyeshadows yet so I cannot tell you guys if the quality is good but the colors are beautiful and these pink shimmery eyeshadows right here are just calling my name they're kind of similar to what I'm wearing on my eyes today I think a little bit yeah maybe a little bit <laughs> so I'm gonna try this out and let you guys know how I like it and then by Maybelline, I saw this and I was like, oh my god, yes, I need an eyeshadow primer. So this is the Prime and Matte base for your eyeshadows. And I got it in the nude color. I saw that they had other different colors, but I was like, I'm going to get nude because I don't really like adding any additional color to my base. But this is what it looks like right here. I haven't even opened it, so let's open it and see how it feels. Okay, so here it is. It just instantly like disappears when you put it on, which is good. Especially if you're applying eyeshadow, you don't want anything too hard. Because it, then it'll make it a little bit difficult for you to blend on your crease. And then the last thing that I got, well I actually got two more things, but one of the last things that I got with this was this nail polish. It's in Petal Pushers 
by Essie and this is a color that I've been wearing in my last two videos and I really like it it's a beautiful gray with a little bit of like blue in it it's just so unique and beautiful but it's one of those colors when I put it on and I'm like oh my god it looks so gorgeous but then a day later or two days later I'm just like I'm over this can I just go back to nude so I was waiting to film this video to, to remove the color because I wanted to show you guys the actual color but I am going to remove it just because I missed my nude nail polish, so I'm probably going to do that tonight. And that's basically all of the products that I picked up. I'm really excited to do a tutorial with a lot of these products because the drugstore has came out with so many amazing, great quality products. And honestly, I feel like the drugstore is not really drugstore price anymore because a lot of these products were a little expensive for drugstore products. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're going to spend about $20 on a palette, you might as well just put... 10 more dollars and spend it on a high quality you know palette at sephora which i have a ton i can recommend so, and with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you all in the next one very soon bye guys